Let us turn to the left's repulsive response to Monday's shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee, because this was a Christian school targeted by a transgender killer. Thoughtful, heartfelt remarks from Democrats and the media mob. They have been few and they have been far between. Some are actually mocking the victims. Take a look at your screen. Now, the now former press secretary for, for Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs posted that tweet after the shooting with the caption, quote, us when we see transphobes, okay? She has now since resigned in disgrace, but has offered no apology. Now, sadly, the vitriol didn't stop there. One awful progressive talk show host, quote, joking about the victims not praying enough. That's supposed to be funny. Uh, I thought attacking one's personal religious beliefs was not allowed in the leftist woke world we live in. Now, meanwhile, a trans activ activist from Harvard, a uh, law implying that the victims got what was coming to them because of Tennessee's laws against so-called gender-affirming care and, and drag shows. NBC News, they touted the true victims from Monday night shooting, quote, Tennessee's trans community, who are now fearing for their lives amid a focus on the Nashville shooter's gender identity. Now, predictably, other Democrats, they're using this as a political opportunity to ban guns, blame Republicans, very predictable. Far-left teachers' union president Randy Weingarten calling on the federal government to confiscate guns like Australia and New Zealand. Uh, maybe, Randy, if you're watching, maybe why don't you focus on the disaster that you helped create that is our educational system, in large part, it is failing because of the unholy political alliance that you have with the teachers' unions and the Democratic Party. And meanwhile, Joe Biden, he doesn't seem to care about the shooting at all. Now, watch this. This should anger every single American, Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, doesn't matter. Here is he's beginning a speech Monday. He's coming out to talk about the shooting. We have six dead people. Three of them are nine years old. Here's your president. My name is Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> and I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. I came down for the ice cream, telling jokes. Uh, now, following the remarks, Biden continued to joke and laugh when asked about the shooting. Take a look. Do you believe that Christians were targeted in a Nashville school shooting? Do you believe that Christians were targeted? I, I have no idea. John Pauley believes they were. What do you say to that? Well, I probably don't then. <laughs> probably don't. No, then. I'm joking. No, I have no idea. I'm joking. For real, I'm joking. Come on, man. Anyway, six people, innocent people, including... Three nine-year-old kids murdered at this Christian school, targeted by a transgender killer. And that is what? That's his response? Joke time? Ice cream time? Seriously? Look, if Democrats can't use a shooting for political gain, they don't really seem to care about shootings. Let me give you an example. You know, Exhibit A is their deafening silence on the daily violence in Chicago and other big cities uh, all across the country. Our friend Gianno Caldwell, my colleague, he lost his little brother in Chicago that was innocently, you know, in the street, murdered, gunned down. That shouldn't be happening, but we don't hear about the names of people killed in Chicago or other big cities or other small towns, in large part co caused by, let's see, defund, dismantle, no bail laws. And by the way, compassion seems to disappear and their behavior becomes appalling. In fact, a so-called trans day of vengeance will continue as planned on Friday in our nation's capital. This is hosted by the Trans Radical Activist Network, whatever that is. The demonstration will continue for three days. Now, just imagine if this was a MAGA-related group planning a MAGA day of vengeance after a hypothetical MAGA-related shooting how do you think Democrats, how do you think the media mob, how do you think the FBI politicized would treat that event? And what do you think of Joe Biden? What do you think he'd have to say then? Do you think any of these politicians that are constantly attacking conservatives, Republicans, you think any of them are going to say anything about this day that's going to take place, what, on Friday? I doubt it. Anyway, Kamala Harris may want to tweet out a link to raise money for the group. 
And right now, by the way, amid all the political posturing, Democrats, they are not even able to work on real solutions to school shootings. There are solutions. Think about this. Liberal lawmakers, they just authorized funding, what, for 87,000 new IRS agents? Uh, but for just a little bit more money, a little bit, Democrats could have hired enough armed professionals to guard every single public school in the country. That amounts to 98,000 schools. I think our kids deserve the same security as those elected politicians. We pay for those, their security and those arrogant, hypocritical Hollywood liberals that are rich and can hire their own armed guards. Now, think about that. Democrats are no, they're now so deep into their far left-wing ideology that they're unable to deliver any real solutions to real problems. And by the way, both parties could get behind that. Take a look at the crisis at our border. Record numbers of illegal immigrants are now coming across. Children's being trafficked in, and raped in large numbers. Our own Sarah Carter has been down there time after time after time reporting on this. Fentanyl, heroin, meth, cocaine, lethal drugs pouring across that border, killing more Americans than ever before. But because, because border security is now, what, considered racist in the Democratic Party, and they aid and, and abet the law-breaking, what, the Biden is now doing nothing to stop what is going on down there. It is being run by cartels. They're not stopping the death, the sexual assaults, the suffering, the drug trafficking, the human trafficking. Well, yesterday, Senator Ted Cruz, he confronted Biden's Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas on this very issue. Let's take a look. Has the crisis at our southern border made Americans less safe? Yes or no? Senator? We are dedicated to the safety. Has and the security crisis made Americans less safe? I don't. I don't want a, a discourse. It's a yes or no question. Senator, we have a challenge of. You refuse to answer the question. How many children have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers under the Biden administration? Senator, this is precisely why. We instituted I, I don't want a lecture. It's a question. How many children I'm have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers under your administration? Senator, this is this is exactly why on January 5th we you, announced again, the parole Do you know how many? Do you know how many children have been sexually assaulted? This is why we Okay, you're going to refuse to answer that question as well. It, Mr. Secretary, I want to say to you right now, it is your behavior is disgraceful, and the deaths, the children assaulted, the children raped, they are at your feet. And if you had integrity, you would resign. And I will tell you, the men and women of the Border Patrol, they've never had a political leader undermine them. They despise you, Mr. Secretary, because you're willing to let children be raped to follow political orders. Wow. Powerful. 